Megan Simmons. Megan, talk up a little bit about your summer. What did you do? What did you work on in terms of your game? Um, I worked okay. a lot with my left hand over the summer, uh, making sure I did a lot of ball handling, you know, because my turnover to assist ratio was a little down. But I think this year, the better the ball handling, the less turnovers I had this year. You know, how I've been talking. Was talking to Holly today, and she said that she wants this group this year to. to the focus is going to be on defense. She, she wants to play pressure, you know, up tempo. Yes, sir. You guys tried that last year and, and really almost scuttled it not long after you started. What? Yes, why will? Why can this team handle that that responsibility where maybe last year's group didn't? Um, I think we just have younger legs. I mean, we're we're fresh. I mean, these younger girls are very hungry, and I feel like the people who are returning, a lot of people's mindset has changed a lot. And I feel like with this new team, you know, it's a it's a we have we have to have a new idea. And I feel like Holly, Holly saying, you know, she wants us to press. I feel like that's a great idea, especially with a young team, because we we love to run. And I feel like the more we run and pressure defense, uh, the better the games are. And you had Jasmine Phillips in your group. That's one of the, one of the new players. What what's she like, and what, how she could be able to help you guys? She's a very good rebounder. I feel like you know her mindset is, is rebound, rebound, rebound. She plays very good defense. Uh, uh, she's a very finesse type player, and I feel like with her mindset coming in, you know, she's mentally ready. I feel like she can bring together a lot a lot of the team and uh, make sure everybody is where they need to be at all times. I was talking to Holly last week. First thing she said about you is mature. You're a junior now. Maturity factors kicked in. Leadership factors kicked in. Just, do you feel different as a junior? Do you feel like you have to take more of a, a leadership role on this team? I do, and, and I feel like my mindset has changed a lot this year. And I feel like from being a leader starting off in the summer um, and coming in, you know, I was, you know, trying to be very responsible. You know, making sure our freshmen knew where they needed to be, uh, making sure they felt comfortable. I mean, you know, that, you know, as a freshman and as an upperclassman, I feel like the, uh, the upperclassmen should take care of the underclassmen. And I feel like that's one of the main responsibilities. And just out there on the floor, I just have to be mentally ready and lead by example, you know, communicating at all times and uh, making sure I'm doing the right thing. So. Now, Pat is there as head coach emeritus, Holly's first year. Does it kind of feel the same as last year, though, having both coaches still around? To me, it feels the same. I feel like it's just, you know, it's a blessing for Holly to, you know, step into the shoes of a, of a great coach. And I feel like she's going to do an amazing job. Uh, she's, she's a very good coach. And I feel like uh, there could be nobody better than Holly to – uh, uh, step in and take that role. And then last thing, Gillette Law, Kyra Elsey, what, what's your impressions of them as your as new coaches on the sideline? I love them. They have such, such, so much energy, and I feel like they bring out the best in a lot of people. Uh, and for me, you know, I just have, I've grown to have a great relationship with both of them, and I feel like this is going to be an amazing year, you know. I feel like it's going to be, you know, so much excitement, and I feel like people are going to have a different mindset once we get out there and step out there on the floor. Okay, thanks, thanks Megan. You're